Hello there, welcome back to another hair tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you all how I basically pin curl my hair to sleep on a set and therefore make it last from one day to the next. Of course you may not want or need to wash your hair every night, so it's important to be able to preserve your set that you've painstakingly put into your hair. In this case, this is a heat set from a curling iron in my case. Um, this is just end of the day residual curl for me and I'm going to be using this leftover curl and the product in my hair to create a pin curl set for the next morning. So this is how I set my hair basically to put under a shower cap or for just going to sleep. The first thing I'll do is take out any bobby pins or clips hiding in my hair from the day and then brush through my hair thoroughly so I can make sure most of the tangles are out of my set so I can roll it all into pin curls easily. Now that I've got my hair brushed through and the tangles are gone, let's talk about the different types of clips you can use to pin curl your hair. This first one is a regular pin curl clip with a, just a two prong little clip. Then of course we have regular metal duckbill clips. Um, I use these to set standing pin curls on the top of my head, you'll see. And then lastly, I have the kind of clip you do not want to use with this little triangle shaped um, area on them and these are extremely painful to try and sleep on so don't use these for a set if you're going to sleep on it uh, Just trust me. You don't want to do it. So use these flatter regular pin curl clips like this So of course as usual, I'm going to be sectioning my hair I section my hair no matter what kind of set I'm doing really and I'm just taking the very top section of my hair for my forehead back here I will then separate the sections from my ear up on either side as well And then finally, I will separate my hair horizontally from ear to ear, clipping the majority of the top of my hair away and starting with the back bottom part of my hair. I'm just gonna be spraying my hair a little bit here with regular old water because I already have product in my hair from the day set, hairspray, some pomade, different things already in my hair. What I'm doing here is just reactivating those products by giving it a little spritz of water. Um, some of you might be thinking I'm crazy to spray water on my curls because I'm gonna lose the curl, but it's really just reactivating that product in my hair. I'm not getting my hair soaking at all. Um, I'm just gently spr spritzing, spritzing my hair here before I roll these into curls. Now, if you're gonna go through the bother of sectioning your hair, you might as well section it neatly and do a pin curl setting um, pattern as it were. Um, my pattern here is just super, super simple. Everything in the back is just rolled in one direction, every row, every curl rolled in the same way. Um, and then of course you can do different setting patterns. Uh, if you search vintage setting pattern on Google or on Pinterest, you will get lots of different um, setting pattern diagrams that show you that which, depending on which way you roll these curls um, and how and what angle you roll them at, etc. Um, you can get different patterns of curl the next day and different hairstyles basically. But this uh, just is my basic how do I roll my hair for sleeping so I just roll it all in one direction in the back and that actually gives me a nice little bend in my page boy on um, the second day which is nice because I usually have trouble getting that bend in my hair the first day but after I do pen curls overnight that um, curve in the back of the page boy actually comes in a lot better the second day. So this is just what works for me. I do just do this bottom section of my hair from my ears down um, in one go and then the rest of the bulk of my hair above that I separate into three sections vertically and just do one at a time slicing little horizontal sections out of that. It's all about sectioning. If you've watched any of my other hair tutorials you know that I'm all about sectioning and putting, taking off little rows and pieces and sort of gritting my hair in that way. So as you can see, I am just rolling sections of hair around my finger, sliding that little curl off and then pinning it down, each one facing in the same direction. So I'm just moving my way up through these vertical sections in the back and then we will get to the sections of the front. If you are someone who struggles with doing um, or forming pin curls, this is actually a good kind of practice uh, situation because the curl is already halfway formed. Your hair, the ends of your hair are already want to fall into that curl shape. It's much easier than uh, pin curling straight hair, for example, or soaking wet hair. So doing a set this way where your hair is already curled is good practice for pin curling later on if that's something that you are interested in learning how to do or getting used to the feel of doing pin curls, which are, you know, the most accurate perhaps way of doing vintage hair after all. This whole process takes me around 15 to 20 minutes and I'm hoping eventually that will get cut down the more I do it. But uh, that's just kind of how much time this takes me to do on my hair. I know some people can pin curl their hair quite quickly after years of practice. Thank you. 
For the side front section above my ear on the light side of my part, I do um, pin curls that are flat, just like I've done on the back. And then on the other side, the heavier side of my part, I do standing pin curls. So that'll be the first difference from the rest of my hair. The back and the light side of my part are all done in flat pin curls. And the standing pin curls I use on the top front section and the side section of the heavier side of my part, if that makes any sense. You'll see in a second. So I'm just rolling my hair around my finger into a little curl, pinching the top of that as I slide my finger out from inside. And then instead of flattening the section, I just stick the pin through the little hole that's made in the little victory roll, basically, in the curl. So I just stick the pin underneath to hold that curl standing up. And I do the same with the second little section here as well. This one needed a little bit more water, but just rolling around the finger and then pinching the top of the curl as you slide your finger out from inside the curl you just made. And then just stick a pin curl clip inside the little roll to hold that standing up like that. Now for this top section, I'm just brushing it out to make sure there are no tangles once again. You can see how striped my hair color is right now. I'm just separating these sections off vertically um, and then clipping the bulk of my hair away. Once again, giving it a little spritz with some water to reactivate the product in my hair. And then I'm just gonna do standing pin curls here as well, just like the ones underneath. So just rolling the hair around my finger, just the same as I just did the two curls underneath. And this is where, because the curls become quite long, I use the longer duck bill clips to secure these guys here at the top. Just pinning down the center of the roll. And then I will just continue doing that same method for the rest of the front section of my hair here. For this top section, I sometimes do, you know, four or five, doesn't really matter how many uh, rolls I make here at the top. I just kind of go uh, by feel and it doesn't um, matter particularly how many curls I end up with for me. I just, I'm just rolling until I run out of hair basically. Now that everything is rolled, sometimes I clip a couple of these rolls together just so that they all stay put and stay happy overnight. So you can see I'm just doing that here with these top front rolls and then I give everything a spritz of water again, just a gentle spritz over the finished set to help with, for the same effect really, for the same reason, just to reactivate the product and give it a little bit of moisture so that when it dries, it holds these new curls I just put in. I'm just tying a super granny-tastic net over those curls so that they all stay in place overnight when I'm sleeping, or I can throw a shower cap over this um, and just make sure everything is secured um, for when I'm washing the rest of me if I don't need to wash my hair. And there we are, a finished pin curl set, ready for bed, extending my set for as many days as I need to. And so thank you guys for watching today. I hope this has been helpful for some of you who want to learn how to preserve your set or just are working on your pin curls and want a um, easier method to learn how to get the motion down before you start working on straighter or wet hair. I think it's easier to roll already curled hair, of course. So this is a good practice for pin curls in general. Thank you guys for watching today and I'll see you again soon. Bye.